Okay, here I am back at the storage unit. It's Saturday morning, October 8th, actually running into the afternoon. I uh, did my homework last night, figured out what I've got to do to this uh, 1963 Johnson Super C horse, 28 horsepower, short shaft tiller. And as far as the kill switch goes... Okay, I'm going to rip through last week, tell you what I did real quick. I had to tear everything apart rewire or add some wires for the um, the vacuum cutoff switch got everything wired up finally found the schematic did what I had to do I also took some uh, marine grade heat shrink heat shrinked all my wire connections um, rewired resoldered rewired the uh, the original kill switch that was on there um, Everything I needed to take care of to get this thing in the water. Um, the starter was having problems. I thought it was my relay, my solenoid. As it turned out, it was just a bad ground. Took care of that. Everything's ready to go. So let's head down to the lake. Good morning. It's Sunday. October 15th made it to the storage unit I'm gonna get this old outboard on the lake finally the beast 1963 Johnson super seahorse short shaft tiller mocked up ready to go there she is the beast all right made it to the ramp wow where you at there you is <laughs> made it to the ramp like I said my favorite place to come and work on these motors because once again I'm the only one here Sunday morning nine o'clock Got the whole joint to myself. So let's get the beast in the water. All right, I'm in the water with the beast. I am having a issue still. I bought this damn fuel hose and it was supposed to have a universal fitting on it to fit my tank, but it did not fit as usual. But I did have the plug from the other hose and it was leaking and when I pump the gas it still leaks I put a o-ring in there and slowed it down but there it goes it's leaking but it feels like I'm just pumping air you can see in my filter here and the primer bulb is not getting hard so I don't think I'm getting enough gas to the carburetor to close the float anyway I'll give it a shot and see what happens worse comes to worse I'll just take the uh, fitting off and put the hose straight in the tank and that'll cure it temporarily until I get it okay fitting. pull the plugs out they were not wet so I haven't pulled any gas up to the pistons yet and uh, it's gonna keep going until I get there all right here's what happened I kept pumping the uh, primer bulb trying to get some gas in there pulled the choke I thought I flooded the damn thing so I pulled the plugs out and I thought I was recording but obviously I wasn't so here I am, put the plugs back in, and uh, she fires right up.
So I'm going to let this baby warm up, tighten up on the carburetor. Okay, so what I did was I adjusted the carburetor. I pulled off the, uh, the handle on the slow speed needle and I put it center so it's level. So when I turn it to the left, it opens up more, brings more air in, and uh, the RPM slow down. When I turn it to the right, it's cutting off the air, sucking more gas, and the RPMs go up. So the sweet spot's going to be right there in the middle, and that's where I like to have the handle set, right in the middle. And that's not going to be the last adjustment on this thing, I guarantee you that. All right, let's get out of here. Take her for a run. Oh, I gotta turn around and pull this bad boy. Also, I don't have this damn thing centered in the boat here. It needs to be over a little bit. Alright, I gotta turn around. Wow, I was just thinking to myself, I wonder how many years it's been since the last time this thing ran. Also, I don't have the trim adjusted. I'll have to do that too. That's better. I'm just going to take it easy at first because Lord only knows how long it's been since this thing was running the last time.
am. I, I, I'm almost afraid to go full throttle with this thing. got the high speed adjusted pretty good. Idle's good. I still need to get the idle stop screw in over here on the side. And it's going to need a little tinkering. I don't know if anybody can hear me on this thing. Johnson 28 horse super seahorse resurrected this old outboard runs good idles good I will be doing a follow-up video on the beast and um, get it ready for paint so keep an eye out for that check out my other videos I've got more stuff coming up Check out the first couple of episodes of The Beast. You can see what I had to do to this thing, the condition it was in when I first got it. Like I said, more stuff coming up. And uh, thanks for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. Check me out. You know the channel.